Nearby, a lot of folks wondering if a tornado did touch down today in nearby Brookfield. Because there's so much damage. News 8's Amy Hudak is live there. Amy. Neighbors say their community looks more like a war zone tonight. Some of the only sounds that you're hearing out here are sirens from ambulances and fire trucks. We have a light to show you some of the damage on with, with the trees, especially those covering the roadways. But we're going to show you what these folks are really dealing with, and that is pitch black conditions. They've lost power, and they could be without power for what could be days. Power lines torn down from whipping winds lay in the roadway, some even catching fire. We've seen cars crushed by trees and trees blocking just about every roadway in the town. Debris is scattered everywhere on roads and littering yards. Front loaders were even hauled in to help clean up along with crews from all over the state. Neighbors were calling the terrifying moments they experienced. This power line, when it landed, caught on fire. There were flames right here in the road. Um, and I mean, at first, I was just worried about my mom. So I, I raced home. Um, I got in. All the all the circuits were jammed too. I was calling my mom, calling my dad. A war zone, literally a war zone. My son has a he's autistic, and his last words on the text were, "The tornado is here." We have a, a rescue strike team, and we also have a task force that's here from uh, the northern part, from Watertown North. Um, basically, what we do is we come down here and, and provide backup and support to our, our brother and sister departments in the area. There are just so many roadways in this town that are covered with wires, possibly could be live, or they have trees covering them. And for our safety, we're a little bit further back from all of that area, especially so first responders can get through and get to those who need help. But to, on, tonight, neighbors say this is all about neighbor helping neighbor. This is a very tight knit community, and they say they will clean up and piece things back together as soon as possible. For now, we're live in Brookfield. Amy Hudak, News 8.